With concerns that Stone County could lose its ambulance service, it's up to voters to decide its fate. This Tuesday, voters will decide whether or not to approve an ambulance district for Stone County and a sales tax increase. Sharmel Odell joins us live in the studio to tell us why county leaders say it's needed. Sharmel. Now, for the people living in the area, this is what they can expect to see on their ballot. A yes or no vote to establish a Stone County Ambulance District. Now, one of the main questions for the people living in Stone County is, are there enough ambulances to serve the people who live there? And for the nearly 3,000 people that signed to get this proposal on the ballot, they say there isn't. There are times, I hate to say how many times, that there's not an ambulance available within 30 miles. With only four ambulances serving Stone County, emergency officials say EMS services are at stake. Since 1985, Mercy and Cox of Branson has provided the county with ambulances, but it wasn't until late September the hospitals brought up their concerns. They contacted me and they said, Tom, we've got a problem simply because of the money they're losing. Both hospitals say they are losing a minimum of $500,000 annually. An example would be prior to the pandemic, an ambulance that we would purchase would cost around $209,000, $210,000. Those same ambulances are now $310,000. That's just an example of the capital outlay that we're experiencing. The next closest hospitals for people living in Stone County are all nearly 40 minutes away in each direction. If I'm needing an ambulance, if I'm having a heart attack or if I'm having a stroke, that's that's a long time. There's sometimes I've called for an ambulance and they're there immediately. I mean, like within minutes. There's other times when I've waited an extended period of time. Uh, and there's been times that they say there, there's just not one available. In a statement from Mercy's emergency management director, Bob Patterson, he says, in quote, with ambulance reimbursements declining, labor expenses, equipment has become more expensive. It's just not sustainable to operate without some level of support. If the ambulance district is approved, EMS officials say the next step is to elect a board of directors. From there, it'll be up to the board members to decide where the finances from the proposed sales tax money, one half of one percent, will go. As a first responder, as an EMT, as fire chief, as deputy sheriff, uh, I have made calls where people's dying, and I know there's not a thing in the world I can do. That makes you want to be committed. So uh, that's the reason I'm so dedicated to trying to do what I can to make it happen. The sales tax increase to be voted on is one half of 1% or 50 cents for every $100 spent. Francis, back to you. Thanks so much.